We should be there really soon. Wait, is it in the sea? Uh, guys, it's in the water. What the hell? It's in the water, guys. So, a moon. It's quite interesting. Empty moon. No flora, no fauna. Ooh, and a, a guy. The light seen the electronic life on Mars constricting beams and moving image on the inside of my visor. Complex equations detailing fascinating technology spin past in a blur. The speed of the entity's cognition and understanding is clearly far beyond my own. Images of chemical formulae, directional energy diagrams and microdensity devices dance inches from my eyes. Too fast to comprehend. I go to ask it to stop but realise I could instead ask it to pause. But when? Oh, okay. Um, micro density devices. The image cycle pauses on an exosuit technology blueprint. Nice! Toxin suppressor. That could be quite useful. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, oh, a new weapon potentially. Let's compare it. Yeah, mine's better. <laughs> yeah, mine's way better. Anything else in here? Hmm, apparently not. Let's go check out this bit. So for this, no toxicity, no bad weather, and apart from the fact that I need my life support system power to stay on, which looks like it's doing fairly well on, I could probably stay here for quite a long time. Oh, another entity. Cool. What do you do? You're a geologist. Okay. Rare silicate. Jesus. Actually, I've got rare silicate, don't I? I've got rare silicate. Uh, 50 cryos, don't I? Yeah. The life will manage to salvage one of its experiments with my offering. It thanks me with an appropriate gift of a dynamic resonator, which I can use to build, if I find a crash ship, I can use to build a warp drive, which is quite cool. Or I can sell it, either one. Anything else here? Or, oh, uh, tech? Propulsion. Cool. Life support system power. Should I do that? Uh, exosuit. Life support system. Might as well charge up now. Let's scan a few of these things. All of this stuff I'm scanning will just get me a little bit of extra money. Which could be useful. There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, I can't. Okay, there's a little scanny thing. And there's also another building over there. So we'll do the uh, save point scanny thing. And have a look through these. We've done quite a lot in the last uh, four episodes. I think this now being the eighth. Electron vapor. It's good for making warp drives, but I could also sell it, I suppose. Let's just get, uh, see what's in this building. It's also got a couple of other things we want to look at, like the supply uh, deposit. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, 
Where's the entrance? Hello, entrance to this place is right here. Cool. God, there's, these buildings have a lot in them. Interact. Okay, why can't I interact? Oh, inventory full. Uh, let's put my electron vapor over. There we go. There's potential for him to give me something. Corvax Echoes. Re energize, I guess. Oh. <laughs> okay. It reluctantly opens it. I got a carrot sheet. Oh, thanks. Really? I, I helped you. What's, I don't understand. I didn't read the thing. <laughs> Probably should have. V2. Damn it. Okay, I've got a few things to look at. Rail shot. Podcast delivers instantaneous damage on targets. Plasma charge process create an ionized gas arc to propel projectiles at great speed. Usable perceived destruction results simultaneously with the pull of the trigger. So it's a rail gun. That's some that's something really cool. Okay, I'm glad I've got that. What's glowing over here? Hello, weird glowing stuff. Mushroom, can I analyze the mushroom? Oh, I can analyze that though. Uh, and what's making the glowing? This thing? Why can't I analyze the glowing thing? Okay, whatever, let's get back to my ship and go to that supply deposit. Yeah, I think I've done... There's just three buildings, wasn't there? Oh, oh and that? Is that... Yeah, that's too far away for me to bother with. I can't bother to walk along the surface of a planet for an entire minute. That's far beyond my... Uh, skills of patience. Let's have a look to see what's on the landing platform though. Infantry full again. <coughs> Let's put the... Oh, okay, I'm going to destroy that. Uh, transfer the plutonium over. And the iron. What does this give me? Some suspension fluid. And more suspension fluid. Uh, fascination bead. Can I transfer these? Shielding shard. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that shielding shard. And a power canister. Okay, can I use the power canister? I can. Right. Get back into my ship. Actually, was there a... I need to check. Was there a um, trade point here? Oh, there was. Okay, let's get rid of some of the stuff. Clear up my inventory. Go look at this resource deposit. And then I think I might call that a day on episode 4. So, fascination beads. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of the... Suspension fluid I can make pretty easily, but... Okay, Starship Inventory. Electron Vapor. Suspension Fluid. There isn't actually much I can get rid of. Jesus. Wow, okay. So, I've just got loads and loads of... And I've got loads of Chrysanite. Feck, I've got loads. Stamina enhancement, life support enhancement. Should I try and create... Uh, I could get rid of a few electron vapors, I think. I, and... Maybe some antimatter as well. Yes, 
So let's get rid of that electrical vapor and the suspension fluid. I don't need it, I can make it all pretty easily. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's a gun. Did I? I already looked at that. Okay, let's go. Okay, yeah, let's go check out the resource deposit. I should have enough room now. And it's over here, not far away. Oh, it's a iridium deposit. Oh, that's boring. Oh, crud. Right, let's land next to it because I'm going to have to uh, register that I've got it or it's going to keep flashing up. It's quite a large iridium deposit, to be fair. Should I pick up a little bit of it? Can I not reach it? Oh, nickel. That's not... Okay. So, can I go through here? There we go. That's one way of getting to the top. I'm I'm lost. I am. Okay, there we go. There's the top of it. So this was supposed to be a iridium deposit. How far away is that? I know it's off planet, but it doesn't tell me. I'm kind of tempted to go to that monolith. Let's see how long it take me to get there. Okay, boost. Okay, that's taking me this way. I need to go higher first. Okay, so we're now, or should be now, in space. Okay, oh, that's really close. Okay. Whoa, lots of water. That's cool. Okay, yeah, that's not too far away. We'll do this monolith, and then I think we'll call it a day on episode 8, I believe. This might be a slightly long episode, I'm not sure. Um, ignore me if this is like episode 10, or if it's episode 6, or something, I don't know, I can't. I uh, When I'm recording this, I'm not really paying attention to how I'm going to split it all up. Wow, this is some crazy life stuff. Sentinels are high security, is extremely radioactive apparently. So I don't want to be out here for too long. But at the same time I do want to... Okay, can't scan them. There's the monolith. That's some crazy ass plant right there. It just gives me carbon. Uh, Nickel. There's quite a lot of nickel in this area. Call back to word for impossible. Call back to word for low. And intelligence. Okay. So I've got to go up here. Yeah, there's going to be some other kind of weird test, isn't there? Tiny floating tetrahedrons emerge from the planet's surface and surround me. I tried to wave them away from my mo with my multi-tool, but each time they swarm closer to it, as if attracted to it somehow. I raise my multi-tool and they shimmer blue as they dart this way and that, closer and closer. They are within touching distance of my multi-tool. They, they will make one final surge. Let their tetrahedrons in. I have a new technology blueprint. Thought I would. Is it good? What is it? What is it? You gonna tell me? A recoil stabilizer. Yeah, great. Let's have a look at this. There's another thing up here. 
hiding. I'm learning more and more, so it shouldn't take me that long to really bend you. I just want to scan all this stuff. Right. I also uh, want you to let me know how you want me to edit this, whether you want me to clip out some of the more boring parts, whether you want me to keep literally all of it in. Um, let me know, because it's I want to know how you guys want to enjoy it. And at the moment, I'm, I want to kind of edit out all the really boring bits, but I've had some people say, no, don't, it ruins the flow of it. Um, which is fair enough, if that's your view. I mean, I just want to know if that's a kind of a shared view with everyone. Um, platinum? Cool. Oh, God. Okay, get back on my ship. I've run out of time. Uh, okay, guys. Let me know what you think with, about the uh, editing. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'm really having a lot of fun. It's something that's easy to make, but really enjoyable. Um, two hours? Oh, is it on this planet? Hang on. I'm keep saying that. Okay, I might edit this bit out, just me getting there. But um, I'm just going to have a quick look at this abandoned building. And we'll go from there. It should be right below me. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay, we should be there really soon. Wait, is it in the sea? Uh... Guys, it's in the water. What the hell? It's in the water, guys. Okay, I'm going to have to swim for it. Wait, can I land on water? No. I'm going to have to land here. Bearing in mind this is a radioactive planet and try and swim for it. Oh, okay. Uh... Water radiation. Oh, fecking great. I might. Can I kind of hop with my. How far away is it? Two minutes. Oh, Jesus. I need to make it there or. I, I might die doing this. Is it worth trying this? It's not... I'm not, I'm not going to make that. I'm really not going to make it and make it back to my ship. It's impossible. But the radiation on the outside is actually worse than on in the water. Yeah, it's already 50%. I'm only just about to make it back to my ship. That's a real shame, but... I don't see how else I was going to do it. a shame. There's nowhere closer, is there? Let's just t take off and have a look. It's literally in the middle of this. Is that bit of land there closer? Could I use that? Okay, let's try it from this bit of land. I might make that. Uh, if I can land. <laughs> I can't land. Fucking hell. Come on. There we go. Okay. From here, it is one minute. That's risky still. Okay, I'm gonna jetpack out as far as I can and now we're in the water and it's it's down here okay my radiation might not last even as long as really there's a safe point here oxygen protection at 75% Where can I... Where's the entrance? Here? Okay. Ok, 
okay, I don't know if I found a body. It's unlike anything I've ever seen as a species like it, then I hope they're all dead like this one. I first thought it's some tragic remnant of a matter transfer of tech malfunction, a cage of bones and flesh studded with random patterns of crooked teeth and roomy, idless, lidless eyes. But no, some horror of twi twisted evolution warped by cruel nature. I can't help but picture what it would have looked like alive. I cannot help but fear that it will live again. Analyze the data log. I discovered something coded deep inside the long dead traveller's data log. Something that has left will aid me on my journey. Cool. Uh, an aquatic membrane. I'd have enough to build it though. Uh, it's a very quick look. Is there anything here? Suspension fluid. That not doesn't really help me. Okay. Let's go. I don't know. Where's my ship? That way. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make it, guys. Come on. How far away is... Oh, there it is. Thank God for that. Okay. My radiation's down. There's a storm outside as well, which is not helping me. Might as well scan some stuff while I'm here. <laughs> okay. I'm in trouble if I don't get back to my ship soon. Come on, get in, get in. Okay, guys, we did it. We did it. Oh, that was, inc that was pretty cool. We actually found, like, a sunken place. That's really awesome. Okay, charge up that. I'm going to charge up that with some thamium. I need some more thamium, actually. Okay, do we have anything else? What's that? What is that? It won't let me, like, lock onto it. See how far away it is. See if it gets any closer. It's weird. It's not giving me a location or anything for it. Or a distance or a time. I mean, this thing could be miles away. Hey, let me... I'm going to go into the atmosphere and speed up a little bit. Okay, it's... Okay, there's something over there. Is he going to tell me what it is now? Is that what it is? A fugitive attack ship with a bounty on it? I mean, that could be quite cool. Where is it? Oh, over there still? Uh, uh, let's do a scan, actually. Okay, space station's not far from here. Where's... I can't see that point anymore. Hmm. Okay. I actually don't know where that point went. Should I zoom out a little bit? Go away and come back? It's disappeared. What the f- Hang on, let me just get some thamium because I'm running out. Okay, let's go to the space station. I don't know what that was about. If anyone knows what that little marker was, please let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'm going to go to the space station. And I think that's going to be where I might leave it.
I might cut this recording. I've been recording now for two and a half hours. I feel like I've got a fair, a fair amount done. Okay, we're gonna go into this is space station. At some point, we need to get ourselves a new ship. It'll happen one day. And speak of the devil, there is something coming in. But uh, I'll take a look at that in a minute. First, I want to see can I access this one? I oh, I've already been in here. Okay, this is one I've already been into. I forgot about that. Okay, there is a ship coming in. Actually, I could just wait for him and sell anything I've got to him. Let's see if I can do that. It looks quite big. Like a pretty chunky ship to me. Huh. I like this ship. You are a nice looking ship, sir. Oh, I keep going around the wrong way. There we go. Let's have a look. I bet it's really expensive. Okay. Make an offer. How much? Yeah, 1,500,000. But it's got 24 slots. Look at all those slots. <laughs> and it's... Oh, damn. Let me do it. <laughs> it's not going to let me, is it? No. <laughs> Damn. And I'm going to sell some stuff to you anyway. I mean, how much do I have now? Uh, I'll have a look in a second. Sell. Okay. I don't need the nickel I've got. Sell that for 2,000. Sell a shielding shard. Uh, I could sell the Christ tonight for a hell of a lot. How about... I reduce how much I've got uh, here by a little bit. Sell 400. And that'll still get me f quite a fair amount. And should free up some infantry space too. Oh, can I be selling for my exosuit infantry? Oh, okay. Uh, Starship, what can I sell from here? Radium, platinum, iron. Actually, nothing, so never mind. That thing is the one thing with the one big engine. I really want a ship like this. <sighs> Bye. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to call this a day. I'm going to hop on my ship and hop out of my ship to save it. There we go. Restore points saved. Uh, in fact, actually, what I might do... Should I start a warp? No, I won't start a warp. I will see you all guys in the next video. Bye!